Hi, I'm Tim Kotner and I'm director of the Engineering Leadership and Innovation Institute at UCF. Today, we are here today at the Leaders Up Close and Personal. We have Eric Singleton, who is the Chief Information Officer from Chico's. Eric, thank you for joining us today. Thanks for having me, Tim. It's great to have you here. So I've heard you talk and, and share your thoughts about engineering and computer science. And I've heard you say that engineering and computer science is like the greatest discipline, greatest industry in the world. Why do you believe that? I, well, you know, that's, I do believe that. And um, I, I think it's one of the greatest disciplines in the world because it's so universally applicable. I mean, uh, with what a student learns here or at any, any school in the College of uh, Engineering, computer science um, can be used and applied in its entirety in almost any industry. And that's why I think it's fascinating. Um, it keeps things fresh and uh, an individual graduating today, for example, can look ahead to an entire career of options. There is no single flight path that can make changes and uh, you know, satisfy their need to learn and, and a whole bunch of other things. So your career, was that a single flight path? You were in retail forever? No, in fact, uh, it was not. I was, I've not been in retail forever. I, um, I started out, interestingly, in uh, county government uh, upon graduation. And um, after that, moved into manufacturing for aerospace, uh, automotive, and defense. And um, then had a brief uh, stint in oil and gas and ended up in retail where I've been since, oh gosh, for about 12 years now. Okay, and so from that path, mm -hmm. I've heard you also talk about, hey, there's something about finding the edge. And I imagine what comes out of school and being an engineer, computer science student, you learn how to find that edge and you've used that across your career. But what do you mean by finding the edge and pushing the edge? Well, um, it's, it's a great question. I, the edge, as I, as I think about it, is really the, the edge where innovation is. I think great innovation and great invention um, only starts to happen after you've moved forward past everything you know and have learned and start to go into the unknown. Uh, the edge is the jumping off point. And um, I think that for an engineer, computer scientist, uh, you know, pick your discipline in that arena to be successful, um, you have to have the courage to go beyond what you've been taught and start to invent, start to innovate. To me, that's the most satisfying aspect of, of engineering is, is moving into that, that region, if you will. So when we move into that region mm -hmm. and we go past that edge, are we gonna fail? Sure, you're gonna fail. Is that you're gonna fail sometimes. But I think, uh, you know, uh, one of my great mentors uh, told me once, um, you need to fail your way to success. You need to, you need to have the courage to know that if you're not failing, at least sometimes, you're probably not pushing that envelope hard enough because that's the tipping point where you start to learn. And that's the tipping point and the jumping off point where you begin to, again to invent and to contribute to something new, you know, whether it's to society or to the discipline that you're in or the industry you're in. Right. So in your last couple of responses, you used the word courage. Mm -hmm. So where did Eric Singleton find the courage to switch jobs in different industries? And maybe where do you find courage today to go push past the edge? You know, I, I think that I, I never really thought about it as finding the courage. Um, my passion and uh, thirst for knowledge and all the amazing things in this world uh, is probably like a magnet to me. And um, because I think when you have this discipline under your belt and you graduate from here, for example, with your suitcase of skills and things you've learned, um, you know, off you go on, on this journey. And if you're uh, perpetually interested in pretty much everything, um, the great thing about engineering is, again, the skills that are learned early are applicable almost everywhere. So for me, um, I, don't think, I don't think I could have not done that. There's just too many wonderful things uh, that interest me. And luckily, I ended up in a career where what I know and what I do um, has, has value in most places, and I think right. that's true for all of the students here. Okay, the other thing I've heard you talk about is a person almost has to earn their way into their job or their next move. 
And so you've shared your story with our students and you're sharing today. Mm -hmm. How did Eric Singleton earn the right to sit here today? <laughs> um, ag again, I, uh, first of all, I'm really honored to sit here and I'm honored to be here at, at UCF. Um, I mean that not just as a, as a, as a graduate, but uh, just to be here in general. Um, I've spent a career following my dreams and believing in what uh, what I was doing, what my team was doing, it's just the desire to make a difference. And uh, somehow, here we are, and I guess uh, we got it right a few times. <laughs> my gut says it more than a few times, right? Um, and so you, you've got a team, and you, you've taken things on, and you've made a difference in the world. Is there one or two ways that you feel you've made the biggest difference? That when, when, you, when you retire and <clears throat> you say, hey, my career's done, here's my legacy? That's a really tough question. Um, I, I hope so. I hope that there's somewhere out there there's been impact that's changed something or someone's view of things for the better. Um, and I've been fortunate to be on a lot of great teams where at the time uh, we were building something or doing something that in that moment I think did make a difference uh, either to the people that were buying our product or the people that were using the product. Hopefully, um, the collection of all those things has resulted in, in some teeny bit of inspiration to someone as they go forward, and they'll add that to their, their collection of inspirations, and um, I'd like to think that. Eric, thank you very much for spending time with us and for sharing your thoughts and wisdom with us. Thank really you, do Tim. Appreciate it. It's great to be here. This has been Leaders Up Close and Personal.